In this video, I'm gonna show you how to query from external data sources with BigQuery. So I'm in my BigQuery project here. I wanna press the three dots and click create data set. And this is where my external tables are gonna live. So I'm gonna call this data set external data. And this external data is gonna house my tables. So I'm gonna create that data set. And then within that data set itself, I go and click the three buttons here and then press create table. So I'm gonna create a table and I'm gonna create this from Google Drive. And for this Google Drive, I'm going to take a sheet and I'm gonna copy this sheet and I'm gonna paste this sheet into the select drive URI. So I pasted that sheet in there and I've just selected that file format as Google Sheet. Now that Google Sheet is in there, it's in this project, it's in this data set, and I need to put a name on the table, I'm gonna put it in. So this is an Adidas sales data set, so I'll call this table Adidas sales. I wanna auto detect the schema, and the last thing I wanna do is to make sure I capture these headers, is I need to skip in the advanced options, I need to skip a header row, so it's header rows to skip one, and then it will take what's in the first row as the headers for this data set. So that Adidas data set is created, I'm gonna to go to that table now, I can see my field names and types, and and then in the details, I can see that this is reading off a Google Sheet. So this isn't in BigQuery, this is still in the Google Sheet, and I can then query this sheet within the BigQuery interface using SQL. I'm just gonna query the first 10 rows of this sheet by selecting star from the data set and limiting this to 10. And this will give me my results as an SQL output, but this is coming off a sheet. I can also do a more complicated query, so I'm selecting re retailer and sum of total sales, and I'm gonna group by all, so this will just give me a list of my retailers and then the sales from those retailers that took about four seconds and now I have my data and I can open that fresh query in a dashboard tool in Python or in Google Sheets. So the gotcha with this tool is that when the data set gets too big like this data set this is 558,000 rows then like working in Google Sheets this gets extremely slow to query. So I'm querying from this spreadsheet now the big one I'm going to call this car prices. So this is my big sheet here, and I'm gonna do the same thing. Auto detect that schema, skip the first header row, and I'm gonna save this table. This will do the exact same thing. This is gonna create a table from the sheet, and all the fields are fine, but when I go to query this table using a similar query, I'm looking for the make, the model, and the sum of selling price. I'm gonna group that by all again. When I go to query this, this takes a long time to run. So I'm pressing run here, I'm gonna speed up the video, and you can see that I'm already running for three minutes. So three minutes, five seconds, this query completes, and I have my query in here, but that took a pretty long time to do. So the way around this is to drop a CSV into cloud storage instead. So the same CSV I have sitting out on my cloud storage. This is just a bucket in order to place your files. So I've just placed my CSV in here and I'm gonna create another external data set and I'm gonna do that from Google Cloud Storage instead of Google Drive. And now I can put that as an external table. If you create a native table, it will create that table as a BigQuery table itself. It won't be reading off the CSV anymore. So I'm gonna create this as a file format CSV in that external data set. I'm gonna grab that file from my cloud bucket same thing as before auto detect that schema in advanced options you'll see a few different options because this is a csv but i just want to skip my header row like i did the last time now this has created a table called car sales csv that's sitting in my cloud storage when i query this this will not have the same issue as my sheets did this will query in about five seconds so the same query that took three minutes takes about five seconds in here so a number of different options but the thing i just wanted to show you today is that you can query files that don't sit in BigQuery tables with BigQuery and query that in SQL, export them to different tools and even schedule them if you want. And that's what we'll cover in the next video. I hope you found this video useful. Follow for more BigQuery videos.